Today we're going to learn how to attach visual effects to the player's body. And unlike just using the VFX device that already does that, you'll be able to link effects to specific bones and create some seriously awesome visuals. Like for example, energy effects or something like the human torch from the Fantastic Four. Let's learn this real quick so I can go back to stealing some brain rods. The first thing you've got to do when you open your project is open the content drawer. Pick your project's folder and create a new one to keep things nice and organized. Then, inside that folder, right-click and create a Niagara system. Pick the fountain option and hit Create. Rename it and open up the Niagara system. You'll probably see something like this too. A module with some particles coming out. Kind of like a water fountain. First thing we gotta do is set a few things up, so just follow along with what I'm doing. Just a heads up, I learned how to make this from the legend showing up on your screen right now. Would be cool of you to go follow him on X. This part right here is just to add a little flair to the particles and make them look more random. These are just little details, but from here on out, I'm gonna start adding some important stuff, so pay attention. The first thing we need to do is add a group for the first particles. For example, the first group will be for the particles that are gonna be attached to the player's head. This part's important. So for that, you're gonna click on spawn rate, expand the settings, and choose the index for the first group. I'm gonna set mine to one, and I recommend you do the same. Next step is to add the skeletal mesh location module. Then pick the same meshes I'm using here. After that, we're gonna filter some bones. And this is exactly where you'll choose which bone is gonna get the particle. And now you might be wondering, which bones can I use? Well, like Vordian said, you can spawn particles on the main bones. And if you don't wanna spawn a ton of them, you can just make each particle bigger instead. Once you've picked the bone, you also need to select this option to attach the effect directly to the filtered bone. And finally, in this option right here, you're gonna pick the same group you selected earlier in the spawn rate settings. Now the rest is just repetition. You're gonna copy and paste a new spawn rate and set a new index for the bone group. Then copy the skeletal mesh location too, and just change the bone you want and the index for the new group. And you're gonna do this for every main bone you wanna link particles to. In this part, I just repeat the same steps a few times to show how easy it is. Just keep increasing the index and attaching it to a new bone. I'd like to take this beautiful moment to remind you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome tutorials. And in the end, after you've linked everything to the main bones, it's gonna look something like this. For mine, I linked it to eight bones, but if you want, you can go for more. Just be careful so the VFX doesn't get too heavy. If you think your visual effect might be too heavy and needs more processing power, switch this option to GPU and set it to fixed. Also, lower the number of particles generated by each spawn rate in this option right here. And now, it's finally time to switch the material. If you're using sub-UV like I am, you can create a new material with the texture and just drop it into the slot. Don't forget to change the sub-image size to match the number of rows and columns in your image. I'm using this little trick to spawn different types of leaves in my particle system without needing multiple materials. Since there are four images in my sub-UV, I'm generating a random number from 0 to 3, which gives me four different looks. And now, finally, I'm changing the color of the leaves which makes everything way more interesting. And for the final step, add the VFX device to your island, pick a duration for the effect, or even set it to infinite. Switch this option to Custom Visual Effect, and select the VFX we just created. While I'm launching the game so we can check out how it turned out, don't forget to grab the free material I dropped on my Patreon. I'm sure it's gonna help you out a lot with your island. There's a bunch of cool stuff over there. And now you've learned how to link visual effects to each bone of the player, now you can bust out all kinds of dances or get even more creative and build tons of cool stuff with this system. I'll see you in the next video and- Hey you! Give me back my tralalero tralala!